You are all welcome in this video. Today we will understand polygons, classification of polygon, diagonals of polygon. Till now we have learnt about points, lines, planes and angles. In this video, we will learn about polygons, another important element of geometry. As we can see that the word polygon is made up of two words, poly and gon. Where poly means multiple and gon means side or angles. Therefore, the figures which have many sides are called polygons. We have to keep in mind that any polygon is made up of three parts and these three parts are side, vertex, angle. The sides are the line segments that form polygons. The vertex is the point where two sides intersect and the space between two intersecting arms is called an angle. There are six sides, six vertices and six angles in this polygon. The last but most important fact for polygons is that polygons are two-dimensional 2D shapes. That is, all the vertices of polygons are in the same plane. Polygons are not three-dimensional or 3D shapes, but 3D shapes can be made using them, like a box. A box is not a polygon, but all the faces of this box are polygons. So now we have a meaningful definition of polygon, which says, a polygon is a simple closed curve made up of only line segments. These are all polygons. Now, can you tell that a polygon can be made from a line segment? Perfect! It cannot be made because we have just learned that a figure with multiple sides is called a polygon. Can polygons be obtained from two line segments? No, because by joining two line segments, we get two sides, one vertex and one angle. But this shape is not closed due to which it is not a polygon. So can a polygon be made from three line segments? Yes, joining three line segments gives us a simple closed curve or shape which has three sides, three vertices and three angles which fulfills all the conditions for a shape to be a polygon. In this way, we can make a polygon by joining three or more than three line segments. Like this polygon, if we pay attention to the rest of the polygons, we find that the number of sides, vertices and angles in each polygon are equal. On the basis of sides or vertices, we classify polygons. A shape with three sides or vertices is called a triangle. A shape with four sides or vertices is called a quadrilateral. A shape with five sides or vertices is called a pentagon. A shape with six sides or vertices is called a hexagon. 
A shape with seven sides or vertices is called a heptagon. A shape with eight sides or vertices is called an octagon. A shape with nine sides or vertices is called a nonagon. A shape with ten sides or vertices is called a decagon. Now, if we take this polygon and name it in this way, can you name the adjacent vertices of vertex A? Well done! The vertex B and vertex F are adjacent to the vertex A. Now, connect the vertex A with the vertices which are not adjacent to it. By doing this, with all the vertices of this hexagon, we get some line segments. We call these line segments as diagonal. Therefore, we can say that the diagonal of a polygon is formed by connecting any two vertices except adjacent vertices. Today in this video, we have learnt In the next video, we will learn some examples based on these.